Do you know that the Australian government wants to encourage skilled migration, but it acknowledges that it won't be a quick remedy for Australia's labour problems? Treasurer Jim Chalmers says a proposal to temporarily double skilled migration places to 200,000 to address critical labour shortages is a reasonable one, as a jobs summit is being planned by the federal government to identify similarities in the private sector. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our immigration information and news channel, a 2Z immigration updates. Business groups have lobbied for a lift in the migration intake as nearly every sector struggles to find workers. Mr Chalmers told that labor shortages were putting a real handbrake on the economy. Certainly, he think, as they emerge from that period of Covid where the migration tap was largely turned off, that should be an opportunity to think about the best mix of migration as the program gathers speed again. The Australian Council of Trade Unions Secretary Sally McManus said any reforms to migration must provide opportunities, rather than take advantage of migrants. Their immigration system should provide opportunities for workers who want to build a better life for themselves and their families in this country not facilitate systemic wage theft and exploitation. The Australian Retailers Association said on Monday that, even with rising inflation, supply chain issues and increased fuel and energy costs, labour and skill shortages remained top of mind for businesses. From their smallest cafes to their largest multinationals, the issue is widespread. There are nearly half a million job vacancies across the country, including over 40,000 in retail trade alone. A recent OECD report found Australia's labour shortage was the second worst among developed nations. However, while labour shortages are front of mind for business, unions have indicated their focus at the National Jobs Summit in September will be on overhauling industrial relations. In particular, the ACTU has called for businesses to be stripped of their power to unilaterally cancel enterprise bargaining agreements. The Treasurer agreed that EBAS need to be revisited, and said the issue had contributed to the past decade of stagnant wages. The tearing up of agreements has been a problem in their industrial relations architecture for some time. He said the upcoming jobs summit would be a chance to find common ground, rather than create further division. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.